Now let's open our Bibles together, and we're turning in the book of John's Gospel, and the chapter number 1. That's John's Gospel, chapter 1, and we're reading verses 1 to 12. I want you to follow the reading of God's precious Word. That's John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses, or rather, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word. We're reading in the Gospel of John, John's Gospel, and we're reading at the chapter 1. The first chapter of John's Gospel. And we're reading down to verse 14. Taking your time for, from me, we'll read it together. Not mumble it like Episcopalians, but we'll read it like free Presbyterians should read the Word. In the, the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteneth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the world, the word, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Ending our lesson at verse 14, and God will stamp his infallible word with his own divine approval. Amen and amen. 